<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the coin. There is a lot to go through. So this is going to be a news blitz. We're going to literally just blitz through all the news and I'm going to provide you my quick opinions on it. Let me know in regards to every single bit of news that we're going to touch today in the comment section. Let me know about your thoughts, your feelings around it, because I would love to know how you feel about it. So as I said, there's so much to go through. We're going to blitz through. And uh, we're going to try and keep it as short and simple and blitzy as possible. All right, let's go. Number one, there is a bit of unhappiness from Maurizio Pochettino at the lack of say he's having in recruitment at this moment in time. If Chelsea were to sell Conor Gallagher, he may well be asking serious questions of the ownership. This is coming from Alex Crook via Talk Sport. Look, of course, I mean, my feelings aside in regards to Conor Gallagher, I think a manager should have their say as to <clears throat> who they want, which player they want to keep in the team. And right now, it's clear to see, it's quite evident that Maurizio Pochettino, one of his most important players, is Conor Gallagher. He's doing well, scoring goals, winning games for Chelsea Football Club. And in all honesty, even... Even if you take away in recent times the goals and, and the fact that he's won games for Chelsea Football Club, even prior to that, Conor Gallagher was the one that was predominantly performing well for Maurizio Pochettino in midfield. Now, we can say, for an argument's sake, that the midfield was designed for Conor Gallagher to do well. But whatever the case is, it is quite evident that Conor Gallagher is an important player for Maurizio Pochettino. And... Of course, the manager will be unhappy if he is being, you know, sold in the summer. They should find a solution to keep the manager, um, you know, the players that he wants. Now, that's one side. The other side is, look, uh, if if Maurizio Pochettino is getting unhappy because of this Conor Gallagher situation, my man, Maurizio Pochettino, you, you, th there's bigger things to be unhappy about the board and the owners, not just the Conor Gallagher situation. I think... Maurice Pochettino should be more unhappy in regards to how young the squad is and, and the recruitment policy. So there are bigger fish fishes to fry, basically, as opposed to being just unhappy with the Conor Gallagher situation. So that's just my quick thoughts. In regards to that, there's more conversation in, in regards to Conor Gallagher coming up. But you guys let me know how you feel about Maurice Pochettino being unhappy uh, with the board. Now, next up, this is another news that is circulating around. This just broke literally a moment ago from, I think, David Einstein. Josh Marsh is scheduled to start the role in March. Um, by the way, before we get into this, I think this was the initial news, so let's look through that. Chelsea has said to name Swansea City's head of football operation, Josh Marsh, as their new loans manager. The appointment has been driven by co-sporting directors, Winston Lee and Stewart, in conjunction with lone player technical coach Carlo Cudicini, whose team Marsh will work in. Coming from David Einstein, this is the brother, Josh Marsh. <sighs> Look, before I give my opinion, let's just go through the entire news, right? Josh Marsh is scheduled to start the role in March. He joined Swansea from Huddersfield in June 2022 and was responsible for the club's football departments, including player recruitment. He previously worked as Huddersfield head scout and then head of recruitment. Look, first, before we even talk about what is this role and another mediocre club, what are we doing? First of all, loans manager? What, what is that? I, I don't even recall Chelsea Football Club ever having a loans manager. I mean, what is Paul Winston Lee and Lawrence Stewart actually doing? There's Joe Shields as well. Why do we need so many personnel? Like, I mean, are we overcomplicating the situation? Now we have a loans manager. I mean, the uh, the brothers that we currently have, they're not capable of, you know, having more responsibilities. It doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. And it kind of aligns with the recent news that we heard that Paul Winsley and Lawrence Shaw will get more people working under them. So this brother is probably one of them. Okay, you want to create a loans manager. Swansea? Come on, man. We've already got people from Brighton. We've got people from Monaco. We've got people from XYZ. Now, Swansea. But he's going to be managing where our players need to go to develop. I don't know, man. Uh, you let me know. Am I overreacting to this? I feel like this club needs to have some level of, you know, elite people working for us. These people that we're getting into Chelsea Football Club just seems like where are the experiences from, man? Like those clubs are not, 
you know, they're, they're not well suited to bring those expertise to Chelsea Football Club. I, I, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. You let me know, ladies and gentlemen, how you feel about this. First of all, I don't even understand the position. Is it really necessary? And secondly, I mean, if you're really going to do this, you might as well get someone, you know, like worthy enough. But I guess, you know, we talk about in recent times, we said, yeah, get rid of the manager, get rid of all of these board of directors, get one sporting director. It seems like we just want to add more people in the kitchen, more chefs in the kitchen, which I don't know, sometimes it's not the greatest idea. Next up, Maurizio Pochettino has privately forcefully advanced the merits to agreeing a new deal for Gallagher with the, uh, with those above, coming from Sammy Mogbo. I mean, Maurizio Pochettino, he's not hiding the fact that he really wants to keep Gallagher. Conor Gallagher has been the standout bearer player at Cobham training ground during a period that insiders say have fallen way short of what is expected. Po Pochettino's reliance on Gallagher is clear. So, look, this does not sound good. Why is Conor Gallagher the only player that is putting in the hard yards in the training? Why aren't other players doing that? What, what, what is missing? Why can't we motivate those players? Why is one player so clear of everyone else in the training? There should be uh, some, you know, some standard. It shouldn't be that one is absolutely clear of the rest of the group. So we need to talk to the rest of the group. What is the problem? Because that's the only way we're going to get better. We're going to, we're going to, you know, climb up the table. If if we lack in training, come match day, we're just going to get pumped. So we need to find that out. Chelsea are believed to be reluctant to go above their unofficial wage ceiling of around 150k per week for Conor Gallagher. His work rate is questionable. His work rate is unquestionable. His ability to hustle opponents and win the ball back is perhaps his most valuable asset, said one well-placed source. But there's always been a doubt over his technical side of the game, coming from Sammy Monk. But look, this is what I've always said. I think in terms of his hard desire work rate, mm, creme de la creme. Technical side of things, look, if he is deployed the way he has been deployed against Aston Villa in the second half in Crystal Palace, then perhaps you don't need to worry too much about the technical side because he's really operating as someone who works more off the ball and then with the ball, it's generally all the other players that, that carry the technical burden and he's crashing into the box and finishing. So far, his finishing is amazing. If he's deployed in that manner, I've got no issues. Not every single midfielder. Gallagher, Enzo, Kaisido, or not every single one of them have to be technically gifted. We've already got Enzo, we've already got Kaisido, who are very, very good technically. And if Conor Gallagher is deployed in a manner, as I said, where he crashes the box and scores, he's an extra body into the box and he scores. I like that. I, I've got no issues with that. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts. But 150,000, I think that's fair enough, man. I mean, if that's the ceiling, Conor Gallagher, I think he's on like, Probably fifty thousand at the moment, something even less, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's more than fifty thousand. If he's getting someone needs one hundred fifty thousand per week, that's incredible wages for this type of a player for the time being. If his stocks keep rising, obviously he can knock on the door and say, "Hey, I want to renegotiate." So if Gallagher's not happy with one hundred fifty thousand, which I, I personally think it's a bit too much for Gallagher at the, at the time being. I mean, if he's on fifty thousand, let's say. Somewhere around 110, 120,000 would be excellent for Conor Gallagher. But if we are able to give up to 150,000, if Conor Gallagher is still not happy with that, I think I think we have a problem. Chelsea face a fight to secure their first choice candidate. Check this out. Check this out. Before we get in uh, on, on the news, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know too much about the Chelsea women's team because I don't get time to follow them. But I do know that they're a very, very good team. Uh, they've done well domestically and in Europe as well. So obviously, you guys know Emma Hayes, she's leaving at the end of this season. And apparently, Chelsea are chasing this particular lady who is supposedly meant to be like the Pep Klopp type of uh, coach in the women's department. So she's currently a, a manager of Lyon. And we are chasing this particular manager to come uh, and, and manage Chelsea women's team. So a lot of people are saying, why are we operating in a different way for the women's team and for the men's team? It's totally different, um, you know, outlook. Like for the women's team, we're going for the creme de la creme. And for men's team, it seems like one mediocre, you know, uh, signing after another mediocre signing, obviously Josh Marsh now. Um, so why is it so different for the women's? I mean, kudos to the women's team that we're doing that. But 
are the owners different for the women's team? Chelsea face, face a fight to secure their first choice candidate, Sonia Bompasto, to replace Emma Hayes as manager. Leon see Chelsea as a major rival and may be unwilling to be seen as strengthening a fellow contender for the Champions League. So, look, fantastic news for the women's team. But the question still remains, why is it so different for the men's team? Why not go for the best of the best for the men's team as well? Come on, man. Now, next up, ladies and gentlemen, Andre Santos via Instagram. He's on his way to Strasbourg. So this is happening. Obviously, it's already happened. He's now on his way to Strasbourg to start his loan spell. Look, good luck to Andre Santos. I can't wait. I need to watch Strasbourg more carefully now. Obviously, we've got um, Angelo Gabriel there. Now we've got Santos going there. So it's very, very importante to watch um, uh, Strasbourg. And down the track, apparently, we'll send more players, obviously, them uh, being under our umbrella, the multi-club model, they're our sister club. Uh, I think I think it's very important that we keep a tab of what's going on in Strasbourg. So good luck to Andre Santos. Hopefully he gets some minutes and hopefully he can help Strasbourg climb up the table. Chelsea have inquired about 21-year-old Everton defender Jared Branthwaite. Um, I've seen a couple of Everton games and this guy, I kid you not, he is a standout defender. He is. I know it's early days. I have no issues if he wants to stick around in Everton and continue with his development and progress. And I know sometimes we we find it difficult when we hear you know this type of rumors with other clubs that let's say from Sporting, uh, Osman uh, Diamande or whoever else, right? And, and and you know if if Brentwood was playing elsewhere, we probably wouldn't be that excited because we watch the English Premier League. We we are we know that okay, what type of a player he could be, what type of player he is right now. So look. I guess we can only comment on what we know. Um, we don't know too much about sporting. We don't know too much about um, all these other clubs, right, with the CBs. And they, those CBs could be great. But this particular player, I've watched Everton, and he is damn good. He is good. Yes, I mean, is this the type of defender that we need? Another young defender, inexperienced? Um, we do need a defender because Thiago Silva is going to be moving on. Chalaba, I don't know what the future is for Chalaba. Potentially not that great at Chelsea Football Club. And um, and there's always injuries, you know, in the CB department with Wesley Fofana, Buddy Shill, and that only leaves, you know, Levi Colwell and Desasi. And Levi Colwell has picked up a few injuries as well. So, look, I've got no issues about us going for Branthwaite. Um, once again, I guess, being biased, Premier League biased. But, look, the price has got to be right. The price definitely has to be right. Like, if Everton absolutely, you know, robs us, something like 50, 60, 70 million for a defender, because they do, as soon as they see Chelsea Football Club or a top football club come for their, their players, like the mid-table teams, their, their players, they always want to jack up the price. And oh, rightly so, but we need to be smart. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, some injury news that Chelsea fans are getting excited about from the uh, you know opposition teams. Um, and I'm here to just not, not that take away the excitement, just bringing some karma, some humbling we need to, we need to have, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. Jack Grealish, Josko Vario, and Bernardo Silva got injured for City tonight ahead of Chelsea on the weekend. So this was yesterday's match in the in the Champions League. Look, it don't matter. <laughs> really, it don't matter. Manchester City have enough quality to hurt us. So uh, Chelsea fans, uh, calm down. Like, there's nothing to be excited about here. Um, and then, look, I, I don't know the extent of their injuries. They may still feature against Chelsea. Who knows? But regardless, they've got enough quality to still hurt us. People are also getting very, very um, excited about this one. Trent Alexander-Arnold to miss Carabao Cup final with Chelsea after aggravating existing knee injury. So this is for real. Uh, he's not going to be featuring for the final. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Bradley, one uh, particular player named Bradley. Uh, what's his first name? I can't remember. Is it Connor? Connor Bradley. Uh, I could be wrong, but last name is Bradley. I will never forget that right back. Don't get too excited that Trent Alexander-Arnold's on there. They're still a very, very good team, and we know what damage Bradley can do. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, Dominic Sabozla is another player who is set to miss the cup final against Chelsea as he undergoes treatment for a hamstring issue. So two players that could be potentially out um, in the Carabao Cup final. But look, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, it don't mean nothing. Honestly, they're still a very, very strong team. They've got enough backup. So... We have to play out of our skin to win that final. But before that, we've got Manchester City. So it could be a couple of games of pain that's coming our way. But let's see. Let's see. 
uh, if we can do some sort of madness. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you felt about everything we went through in this Chelsea latest news blitz. Comment below on your thoughts and your feelings about it. Smash up the like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. I will definitely see you guys for a live stream tomorrow. Hopefully, we can do a members calling. Until then, everyone take care and see ya.